cinnamon cinnamony okay <laughs> Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. Now I know I did not do a February month in review. Tom just seems to get away from me. Do you know how that happens? I'm sure you can completely understand what a chaotic life does. So unfortunately, I now have a lot of products and hold on, I have like a hair. Oh, yeah, there it is. I have a lot of products because this is going to be February and March's monthly review. I'm actually leaving out quite a few products because I have too many to talk about. I did want to get this one out of the way and do it first because it's actually pretty cool. This was sent to me. This is not a sponsored video, but this product, the company reached out to me and sent it to me for review. And as I always tell everybody who reaches out to me I'm going to give you my true thoughts I'm not gonna give any BS with the product and this is a nail polish organizer now you know me with my nails and one of the reasons that I do not do my nails often is I have my stuff all over the place it was never organized before I had a couple of bottles here I had this here I had that there and I was always hunting for it and when they actually reached out and sent this to me I was like oh all right I'm gonna try it and I just realized I have a whole heck of a lot more nail polish stuff than I actually realized this is a case a travel case with a handle and it's quite secure because I've shaken it around to make sure that it does not open it is from human friendly it holds 48 nail polishes and or accessories now there's a couple of cool things about this a, it's double-sided, and it's see-through. The one that I'm going to link right now that they have is a light pink one, which is actually really, really pretty. I will tell you that the price is currently $22.99, and I do have a 10% off coupon. I don't think it makes me a commission. If it does, and I find out that it does, of course I'm going to let you guys know that. But it's 10% off. Now, the cool thing is it does lock securely. It has these two tabs that you have to pop open so it's not just going to pop open on its own when you open it up it has all the little slots and no matter the size of the nail polish at least from my experience it fits them all nicely now the other really super cool thing is if you have a bottle that doesn't fit this last side compartment has removable dividers that you can make slots it has one two five movable dividers here and five movable dividers here on each side you're getting four of these little things that you can make it adjustable to fit any items that do not fit which I thought was ingenious so the other side again opens the clasp is on this side and as you can see oh, hello things are just falling out on me here is in here is where the extra space is and this is where I put that bottle of the rapid dry which is one of the things I'm going to be talking about today and the other cool thing it does come with a pair of toenail separators which I thought was really really nice I said no I never thought this would be for somebody like me but you know what the coolest thing is too it's so slim that it fits right next to my dresser drawer in the space between the wall and my dresser so it is out of the way yet I know where it is I know where every single one of my nail polish products are and I was surprised that I really like it. You know, I don't talk about things positively on my channel unless I really believe in them. And if this is something that you guys might like, I would recommend it. $22.99 isn't really that expensive. I was like, would I personally pay $22.99 for this? And I actually would. And if I had a 10% coupon, I probably would even more. You can also use it. They say you can use it for makeup items and stuff, but I probably wouldn't reach for it for that. But if you have a small makeup collection or you want to hold other things, it's not necessarily just for nail polish. So I was surprised. I thank the company who sent it to me. I really do appreciate that. And uh, I said, I'm being honest with you. I like it. And of course, five minutes into the video, lipstick on the teeth. You know how that is. So let's talk about this Rapid Dry from OPI. I bought this because I said one of another reason I don't do my nails is because I do not have the patience to sit around and do nothing like this waiting for my nails to dry. Now I couldn't find this on the 
site when I went on there. But I did find the drops and I now have ordered the drops. I don't like the spray because although it is convenient that you just spray your nails, I find it dulls down the finish. And that was the one thing that I didn't like. It did make my nails dry quickly, but then you're left with like a dull film over your nails that completely takes away the purpose of it. Now my nails are shot because actually this nail polish lasted a solid week, only now is it chipping. I was really happy with this nail polish. But yeah, I don't recommend this one. I may like use this on my toes. I, I wanna use it up. I don't wanna just not use it. But I really prefer the drops or, they're not really drops, but it looks like a nail polish, but it is the oil that makes your nails dry quicker. So I recommend that one. I don't recommend this spray too much. Let's talk about one thing that is great in concept, and maybe I'm not using it correctly, but do you remember that gripping stuff that I got from my hair to take care of the little baby hairs that um, are over here? I used it, and it does work. It shellacs them, so when you touch your hair, it definitely sticks them down, and it is ex it's very, very sticky, as it says that it would be. And what is exactly? It's called the Grip Cream. So it is very sticky, and it does work. And I rubbed it between my hands, and I pushed the hairs up, and I kept them. Here's the issue, and I don't know whether it's using, I'm using it too much. If you touch your hair throughout the day, like you'll have an itch, or you'll scratch, or you just touch it, it starts to flake, and you look like you have incredibly bad dandruff. And it was not a pretty look like I was at work and I just you know kind of did like this or whatever because my hair was up as it is a lot of the time and then I went to the back and I was like oh my god <laughs> what is going on there and and then I tried to like wet my hands to get rid of it and then the more I did that the more flakes happened so if you guys have tried this uh, let me know if there's some magic way to uh, make it work because the concept is good but the aftermath is, is not very pretty. And then try brushing it out of your hair and not looking like you have horrendous dandruff. Just my two thoughts. I have to talk eyeshadow palettes. This month, well, February and March was the month of drugstore eye palettes for me. Hence the, fo hence the fourth, <laughs> oh boy. Henceforth, the reason I have all of these. These three are the Rimmel, the Magnifies. I only have three of them, there are several more. I want to get the one that looks like the Naked Cherry palette. I just haven't picked it up yet. These three are spectacular. This is the Jewel. This is the Electric Violet. And this one is the Color Edition. I have just honestly been reaching for these so much. You can see, you're not gonna be able to see, but they're actually dirty because I've been reaching for them all the time because they're just so convenient. In all of the palettes, you have all of the mattes and the shimmers that you could use and you cre can create I can do a completely neutral eye look with this one if I want. I can do a completely neutral eye look with this. This one is a little bit harder to do a totally nude eye look but I can still go very very neutral and light with it if I want and for under ten dollars and you can always get points and coupons and buy one get one fifty percent off I highly recommend these palettes the other two that I've been loving this is the NYX ultimate edit now I always wait till these go on sale because they are a little bit up there I think this one might have been ten dollars but of course I got it on sale it is what I'm wearing on my eyes today it is a much bolder palette you're really not going to get too much of a neutral look out of this unless you just kind of stick maybe with these two shades and throw a little bit of this with the light hand they blend beautifully now for me putting on this color it was a bit tougher to blend because I had a very sticky primer on so that was the only thing but the end result I think came out beautifully I'm wearing almost I'm wearing every shade in this palette on my eyes except for this one and it's almost a greenish tone and I think if you wear this greenish taupe with the purple I think it would look gorgeous and I haven't actually tried that yet. every time I pull for this palette which has been about five times I've kind of gone with all of these colors but I really do want to do another look with like these two and then this one for that pop of color so I really love this palette I said I am wearing it today and I like it a lot
This little guy, the Player Palette from Revlon, this is the only one that I really wanted. I looked at the others, but they just didn't call to me. Now, the pan sizes are very tiny, but I can tell you if you're using a small shader brush, not a big, big fluffy one, but a small shader brush or a definer brush, you can get your brush in there. And then for some of the shimmer shades, I've been using my pinky and putting them on. And I have two favorite colors. First of all, that blue. No, I have more than two favorite colors. But this one, I wore it in a video once and all of you guys really complimented me on it. It is just this gorgeous, shifty, silvery blue that is stunning. And this lime, like, oh, it's, it's fluorescent and I love it. So if you get frustrated with maybe uh, trying to fit your brushes in there, I can understand. But look at that blue. Look at those three colors together. This I got for, I think, $9. No, I didn't pay $9. I think I paid about 5 or 6 for it. Another one, I think the drugstore eyeshadows have just suddenly upped their quality and their game because I never would have gone for those before. I've always been iffy about drugstore shadows, but I love it. Let's continue with some more products that I really enjoy and then we'll get into some products that I don't enjoy very much, which one of them you already know about because I've talked about it briefly. This is the Sleek palette that I got in my Look Fantastic box. I really love this palette. The highlighter is more, for me, a little subtle. But I, if you enjoy just a nice glow, it does show up, but it's much more subtle. I mean, if you look at me, uh, I like a blinding highlight, and that's just my preference. But the quality of it in itself is very, very good. So if you are looking for a lighter, natural glow instead of a, oh, she's got highlight on, this is fabulous. This bronzer, for me at least, is the perfect, perfect tone on my skin. It blends beautifully and I love it. Now this blush has a little bit of shimmer in it so I go very light handed because I'm not too much of a fan of a very very shimmery blush especially because I do such highlight. I go in with this very very lightly and I don't drag it on. I kind of puff it in and the color, this peachy rosy color is actually quite beautiful. This is not an expensive palette and if you can find it and you're looking for something like an all-in-one little thing, it's nice and slim, I would recommend this for sure. Since we are on cheek products, let me talk about this Flower Beauty Highlighting Palette. Now, there are some pros and cons with this. Now, I just want to show you. Do you see how it's not closed? And there's a reason. It's this freaking thing. This thing just, I, I can't get it closed when I put it in here. No matter how I mess with it or try to put it, yeah, like I, even there, but then it pops open. I don't know why they put this in here. It doesn't apply the highlighter well at all, and I, I don't like it, and I'm just going to probably get rid of it because I don't want the palette not to close. As for the product itself, these highlighters are buttery soft. Every single tone is spectacular on me, at least. Look at those colors. I mean, this is not for me at least it's in a reasonable price range for me i think it outperforms some of my 30 dollar single highlighters that i have and if you can find this and i know ulta just had a sale on them recently we'll wait for them to come back on sale if you want to pay like a lesser price i paid about six or seven dollars for it then absolutely absolutely go for this i said this thing is stupid, it makes it not close, I'm going to throw it out, but the product inside is fabulous. I would have loved if they just left that out and gave us another highlighter, like maybe like a whiter one, but anyway, I love this and I wear it, I reach for, out of all my highlighters, I keep reaching for this palette on a daily basis. I'm not wearing it today because of like, I have to give love to my other highlighters because they're feeling so guilty. They miss me, I know, but I love this. Let's talk about a highlighter that me not likey. <laughs> oh, this NYX A Bit Jelly product. You saw me try it on camera, and I told you I would try it some other ways. And I did try it some other ways. And yeah, no, those other ways didn't work for me. I never fully took this off. I was trying to keep it like from drying out or whatever, but I really don't use it. 
The color is absolutely stunning. It's this goldy, pinky, purpley, shifty. You can see it's like putty. And then it does come off on your finger. And when you rub it in, it is very um, wet. And the problem is, though, if you try to rub this on on top of your, or even if you try to tap it on on top of your foundation, it doesn't work. It is a product that has to be blended out. As you can see, this was with me blending it. But the problem is you can't blend it out on top of your foundation. I tried it with a beauty blender doing it that way, but again, it was removing my foundation. The only thing I try to do is I put it on top of my moisturizer and rub it in my cheeks and it does work a little bit but then it does get very covered up by my foundation I'm going to keep playing with it and trying to use it because I mean the shift and the, it's it's gorgeousness and it does take a while to dry down and it feels sticky when it dries down like my hand is feeling very very sticky so that's an, another unpleasant thing this wasn't cheap I got it on sale like buy one get one half off but I think it's like 14 or 15 dollars uh, you can correct me if I'm wrong but yes it's so tacky it's still tacky and so for that reason I don't recommend buying it again I'm not one who returns makeup so you know to me it's it's you know you try something it's it's a loss or whatever but yeah i tried it a bunch of ways and i really wanted it to work because it was so pretty but oh well these guys are the wet n wild uh it says two in one uh primer base no three in one <laughs> uh, the fr three in one primer waters these i like very much do i know if they are making my makeup stay on or anything like that no that wasn't my expectation i like the scents this one is cucumber and this one is coconut i did not get the rose spray because rose is not my favorite scent i would definitely compare these to the smashbox primer water because i don't know if that one does anything for keeping my makeup on but these are very refreshing they are not sticky they are wet when you put them on and i just tap them in and after I do that, then I go in with my regular primer or I will reverse it. If I'm putting on my silicone primers, like in here, like my Tarte, I will do this first and then that one. If I'm using just any other primer, it really doesn't matter. I also use these as refreshing sprays. I keep one in my purse sometimes. I switch out the ones in my purses. I just like these. They're $5 as compared to the $32 plus, I think, for the other ones. And I happen to like them. For me, also during the day when I start to get dry, again, over here always gets dry on me and sometimes around my mouth. I'll just spray this on, I'll fan myself, and I look refreshed but not like shiny or dewy. Too dewy if you know what I mean. This is the Physician's Formula Skin Booster Vitamin Shot that I had bought recently. Now I am almost done with this. Yes, I use it every day, but I have never gone through a product so quickly in my entire life. It is in dropper formula, and now I'm gonna actually have to use one of those scoopers to get the rest of the product out. But when you put it on, if I can get some out, it has these little beads that do burst when you put them on. The ingredients in this were pretty okay. Of course, though, I didn't use it long enough to see if it had any real effect on anything. It felt nice when I put it on. My skin felt nice and moisturized. I cannot believe how quickly I went through this. I don't know if I'm going to buy it again because there is, uh, A, I have a lot of skincare to go through, and there are some other products that I am looking to review and try out. I... It was not too expensive. You know, Physician's Formula can get up there. I think it was probably 14 I did not pay that. I think I got the buy one, get one free from Physician's Formula. So that is why I did it. But I'm just shocked at how quickly I went through this. I've never gone through skincare this quickly before. I would like to see if it actually did anything. I don't think it's meant to be used alone. I think it's meant to be used in combination. They say to put it on before another moisturizer that you're putting on top. Supposedly, it may enhance the benefits of that moisturizer. I can't tell you whether or not that's true because I didn't get a chance to use it long enough before it ran out. Now, this little expensive puppy I really do enjoy a lot of Sunday Riley products. Unfortunately, they are so without uh, consequence to your wallet. <laughs> but we did get this one in our Allure box. This is a CEO 
vitamin C um, turmeric face oil. I only use this at night because it is vitamin C and again vitamin C becomes non-effective when it is exposed to sunlight and even though I do wear sunscreen which I am still on the hunt for a good sunscreen to put on especially for the summertime. I will be testing some out and let you guys know. I haven't tried the super group one because I'm trying to finish up another one that I have because they do go bad. Do you know what I mean? Uh, this oil is really really good. I put this on again you should put oils on as the last step in your skincare routine. If you're only going to do one and you want to do um, just the oil then of course you can put it on and tap it in to your skin oils will seal in all of the other products that you have put on your skin. This one sinks in very quickly even on top of the other moisturizers that I put on. It doesn't remain extremely oily. You do, I will tell you, make sure you wait until your other products have soaked in or else this will pill. That's not the problem of this, that's just uh, the problem, the nature of when you're putting oil on top of another product. Wait till everything else is sunk in and then put this on. This does have a lot of good ingredients and benefits to your skin. I love the way it feels, it soaks in by the time I go to bed. If I'm gonna use an overnight face mask, for example, like the glow recipe and things like that, then I won't use this. So that is the only thing. So I'm used, basically using it like every other night because I always do one sleeping mask and then I'll put this on as well. This bottle, I was wrong in my allure. I put that it is $80. This particular bottle is $40, which is still, it, it's pricey, but as you notice, it's lasting me a long time because you do not need a lot. When you put it on, Sometimes I will drop it on my face, but for the most part, I will put it on my finger. I use a little bit more, and then I tap it into my skin like this, and I press. And so you're not using very much, and I love the scent. It has a very organic scent, so you may or may not like that. It's not overpowering, but it's just a wonderful scent to me, and I like it a lot. This little sample, normally I would save this for my samples. I've been waiting to do that video, or at least trying to film it. And of course, I have not gotten around to it, so normally I would have saved it for that. But this is the Ren Everclean Overnight Recovery Balm. I don't recommend this for everyone. This is an exceedingly thick, very emollient balm. When they say it is a balm, it's almost, it's almost as thick as... Do you know the Bite Beauty bombs that come in those little tins? It is like that consistency. It is very, very oily. But if you have dry skin, I will sometimes use that during the day. If my skin is dehydrated and looking tired, I will put this on as my moisturizer. And yes, you will feel moisturized. It is slippery and it can look greasy, but then of course when you're putting your makeup on. If I'm using a foundation that I know is gonna be drying on my skin because I'm trying to use them up, I will do that. It does soak into the skin, but it makes my face feel so comfortable and moisturized and hydrated. And this can be used as an overnight sleeping mask as well. This one, doesn't seep in as much or as quickly as say the glow recipe or the Pacifica one that I have as well or even the banana one that I bought that I have been using but if you are a mature person who needs extra moisture and extra care for their skin for dehydration I highly recommend this if you are oily I highly do not recommend this uh, I don't know how it would I do not have the ingredient list in front of me. I do not know if it is comedogenic or not, but I love this stuff. It is very, very pricey. So I'm making this little guy last, but it does go a long way. I was going to purchase, what was it? The Lancome one in the 21 Days of Beauty. I didn't buy anything from the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty because I, I didn't have the money to. So I wanted a lot of things, but you know, they'll go on sale again eventually. Do you know what I mean? I can wait. <laughs> Let's put it that way. I wanted to try the uh, Lancome Definicils. I didn't get it. It's okay. When it goes on sale again, I know when I have the money. I'll try it. But yeah, as much as I, you know, this one was a little bit cheaper, I think, than the L'Oreal, but if it doesn't work, why, why bother? 
Let's talk about some mascaras and things here. This is a primer that I had bought. This is the Colossal Big Shot uh, Lash Primer from Maybelline. I had bought this one when I bought my Lash Paradise Primer. I wanted to see, I like to compare. This one is black. I use the pink or the white one. The pink is my favorite, the Lash Paradise. This one goes on like mascara, but honestly, I don't see a difference when I use it. I don't see how, when I put the pink one on, my lashes like poof up, they look voluminous, they look thick. This one just looks like I'm putting on a poor quality mascara. Even when I put on the mascara on top of it, I don't see a difference like whatsoever. So I, I'm using it up, even though I'm disappointed every time I'm using it, I'm like, why am I using this? Why am I using this? <laughs> I don't like it. I don't like it. But again, I want to use up a product. So I don't recommend this if you're looking for a good lash primer. I should really venture out and try another one for you guys so I can give you some other suggestions besides the L'Oreal Lash Paradise. But you know when you find something you adore, you don't want to try anything else? This mascara from Wonder Beauty, I'm using it up. This is the Unlashed Mascara. So many people rave about this. It's it's okay. It, it just doesn't do much. I tried layering it on a couple of times. I tried putting it on with another mascara, but that's also a lot of work too. I just kind of want to put on my primer, put on, like I like to do one coat of mascara if I can, especially in the morning. I'll use it. Uh, it's just not my favorite and it's expensive mascara of course so I know some people love it again we're all like individuals things are gonna work for some people and they're not gonna work for others and that's okay because everyone's skin eyes eyelashes hair everything is different uh, these are just things that I like and I know that work for me but everybody is different so if you love this mascara I think that's fabulous just for me and my eyelashes uh, you know, I'll use it up. It's okay. I just won't purchase it again. You know. This one shocked the bejeebies out of me. This was the Plush Drama from Ulta Beauty. I'm wearing it today. I actually like it uh, a lot. It has your basic kind of tapered a little bit, uh, very large you know, applicator. It is the natural bristles. They are not plastic. I really do love the plastic bristles. I can't wait till I can buy the Tarte Tartist mascara again because I just love the feeling of those plastic lashes on my eyes. I mean, plastic bristles on my lashes. I don't know why. It's a little creepy. Okay. This actually did well. It layers well. I didn't have to separate my lashes, use my comb, so it didn't get any clumpies. It didn't like flick onto my eyes. I haven't gotten any flaking. I've been wearing this Look, I'm looking at my watch. I'm not wearing a watch, Leanne. I've been wearing this for about three hours and sometimes after that amount of time, like you will get like the little flakes down here and stuff like that, but that didn't happen. So this is not an expensive mascara. Buy them when they're on sale, because I think it's like $10, but Ulta always has either buy one, get one free, buy two, get two free, or buy one, get one 50% off. If you can get it for like $5, this is really good. There's also a pink one that I had gotten in like a gift set that I want to try, but this shocked me because you know I'm very, very particular. Speaking of particular, this one shocked me. But I had ordered this from a friend because she sells Mary Kay, and I ordered a couple of things to support her. And one of the things I got was this uh, sample of the uh, Mary Kay, what is it called? Lash Intensity Mascara. I was like, I didn't think I was going to like it. I used to love Mary Kay, but they've changed a lot of things. But this mascara is so good. It has like a straight, but really like fluffy bristle. The, oops, hold on, there's a hair in there. Wait a minute, hold that thought. Yeah, okay. It's kind of like got this flat applicator to it. It's, it's very different and I have to tell you this makes my lashes full and fluffy and long it doesn't clump on me it doesn't flake and I'm when I finish this I have to go through my other mascaras but I would definitely buy this again so if you have a friend who sells Mary Kay or anything check out this mascara I don't remember this was a sample so I don't know what it costs but I really like this one I had recently gotten this I did a video on this did I put up the video yet no, but I got this L'Oreal Infallible Longwear Shaping Stick Foundation on sale for $2.99 at 
Ulta. It was like for $2.99, what the hey. And the color is just a teeny tiny bit dark for me, but my Wet n' Wild one is just a teeny, teeny, tiny bit too light for me. So what I do is I alternate between the two of these. I strike my face. I kind of look like a cute little zebra. And the two of them work together. But this is a great stick foundation. It's creamy. It doesn't drag. It doesn't sink into my lines. Uh, it's not the best foundation I've ever used. But I got to tell you, for the $2.99 I paid for it and the, the $5 that I paid for the Wet n' Wild, I think it's fabulous and I think it's going to be even better in the summer because my face will be a little bit um, dewier so I like this one a lot if you can go they had like a ton of them on the clearance shelf at Ulta so if you have an Ulta by you go go check it out see this hyped up thing this is the elf 16 hour camo concealer a dupe for shape tape now this is a very large doe foot applicator, which I like. I had a hard time finding a really good shade, but with concealers, I can make them work. I do not like this. I do not like the way it sits underneath my eyes. I do not like the coverage that it gives. It seems to give good coverage, but it may give good coverage elsewhere on my face, but underneath my eyes, I do not like what it does. It looks creepy and doesn't blend well and doesn't look good i will use this to cut my crease i will use it for other things but the whole oh shape tape dupe yeah no um granted it was only five dollars but i hate when uh, you know they're getting paid i'm sorry but they they may tell you not sponsored they may not mention it but i'm sorry you know these people are getting paid to hype up these products that it, it's okay. This may work for someone else. I should say that. Put that disclaimer. This may work for some people. Maybe if you have young skin. For me personally, it did not. I will use it, as I said, in other ways. But, no. Mm -mm. Three little lip products. And then actually the fourth one, which I'm wearing today, which I just love over lipsticks so much. I love how with this one. So I may as well talk about it, actually. This is in the color Santorini. Now, I didn't think I was going to like this. And it's a bold color, and I don't wear normally bold colors out. I... I'm just afraid of it, but I really do like this. The only thing is you have to make sure that you get the inside of your lip or else you'll get that line because it is a dark color. These are so comfortable, non-tacky. They're not completely transfer proof because I do have some lipstick on my coffee, but I don't mind that, but they don't stray outside or uh, my lip line or anything like that. And I love Ofer lipsticks. This little guy, it hasn't really talked about, and I'm wondering why. I guess Tarte isn't paying anybody to talk about it. <laughs> this is the Tarte Stingsing. This is a lip plumper, and no, it's not going to give you Angelina Jolie lips, for sure. It has this interesting wand. It is plastic, but it is bendable. It's not your typical brush or doe foot applicator. Let me hold this up again so you can see it. And this is very, very liquidy. And do not get this outside of your lip line. Or else you're going to get redness. Because this does sting, burn. I don't mind it. Some people like can't tolerate and they think it's like horrifying. I happen to like that feeling. Not the horrifying feeling part. You know what I mean. It does plump up my lips a little bit so let the lines diminish. And my lips feel just a little bit, you know... I don't know what the word is for it, but they just feel a little bit better. It's not super, it's not really meant to be moisturizing, so after this is soaked in, I will definitely put on a lip balm and then put on my lipstick, which is like what I did here. But if you like a little bit of plumpness and you like that feeling of having it feeling like it's working, it's that cinnamon, 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 cinnamon -y? Okay. <laughs> if you like that type of feeling and taste, then I recommend this. I think it's a little expensive. I think it's like $20. Kind of the same as like the lip injection, but I liked it. I don't know why anybody's not talking about it. And two other products that will <laughs> burn your lips off. No, just kidding. These are the Grande Lips. I love these. Do you remember, I think back in, I have a hair and it's annoying me. Okay. 
I forget what boxy charm or something that I got quite a while ago. I got a full size grande lips in the most horrific color that was completely unwearable for me and I wrote them off. Then they had this little trio on sale. It was a little bit of a darker red, which I don't, not red, a burgundy, which I don't wear too much. Oh, I remember the one that I got was that bright fuchsia pink. Yeah. Oh my goodness. It was like ridiculous. But it had three of these neutral colors. This one is a beautiful neutral sheer pink. It goes on like this, but it goes on the lips beautifully and just gives that night natural flush to it. Again, it does sting. And then this one is a clear. I actually think this one does more of a plumping effect than this one. I don't know why, but that's just what I've experienced. I love these. I wish they weren't so freaking expensive, and I'm hoping I will be able to find like a kit like this again, because when they run out, I'm going to want to buy more, and especially this color. This is just a great everyday color. Again, do not get them outside of your lip line, or else it's going to, you're gonna get red around your lips, but I love these guys. Well, my friends, that is it. I cannot believe that I got through everything. I said I had to leave out so much other stuff. I said because my last video that I just did uh, was an hour long, and I am getting to everyone's comments. I can't even thank you guys. I can't. I can't even. I'm going to get emotional, so I'm not going to talk about it here in this video. But you guys are just freaking amazing. And if nobody today has told you that, I'm telling you that you guys are absolutely freaking amazing, and I love every single one of you. You're the best per people in the entire planet. If you have tried any of these products, please let me know. I am going to list everything down below. You guys know that I do use Magic Links, so if you purchase, I get like a 1% or 2% commission. So um, just be aware of that. If you are purchasing through my links, if you don't feel comfortable, I always put, you know, you can see what the product is, so you can go and check it out yourself. But thank you guys so much. I can't even say it enough. My goodness. But whatever part of the world you are in on and around i hope you're having an amazing day an amazing week coming up and i will see you real soon and let me know your thoughts i'm dying to know what you guys think about everything okay. bye